Okay, here's my first round at the North American Open in Las Vegas, December 26, 2018. I was playing black. This is a Nemzo Indian, which supposedly I know very well. We're on the third move. And usually, if you know your openings, you can play the first 15 and possibly 20 moves pretty quickly. That's not what happened. I'm trying to control E4. I also don't want his knight to be able to sit on e5. Now the bishop moved to d3. You want to make sure that you gain a tempo here by taking the pawn at c4 very timely. Now I want those pawns doubled on the c file. But I also recognize that that gives him the diagonal from A3 to F8. He'll be able to take control of that diagonal. So here's a tempo that I win by his uh, bishop to D3. Now it has to move to C4 and then it's going to move back to D3. According to the computer, actually knight to b6 is probably best here, and I tend to agree. I really didn't like my b6. But he really didn't punish it. I think e4 would have been better for him. I'm kind of happy right now. I have the long diagonal for my white bishop. My two knights are protecting each other and hopefully will be able to move forward either on g4 or e4. Queen is well placed. She does need protection from the rook. I should be able to accomplish that without any problems. Let's see. He's pinning my pawn against the rook. Now the decision here was which rook to use. I decided to use the A rook because really you can't do anything with that pin right now. And this will make sure that both my rooks become active. So I unpinned it. Make sure that his knight doesn't find a home anywhere. So right now I control e4 and d5, which is very critical. Okay, now I'm going to try to stop those two pawns on the c and d files from mobilizing. Right now I have control over d5 and c5, which is another good. That pawn is pent, which made d5 available. But now he's unpent it, and I have to find a place for my knight. I thought that this was fantastic. I'm He has a bishop pair right now. I'm about to eliminate his bishop pair and also be able to put pressure on f3 to hopefully control, destroy his pawn structure. So he wanted to maintain the bishop and just gave up his pawn structure. And at this point, the computer agrees that I have a slight advantage, which I think is a major advantage. He has six pawns, and they all are weak. What I want to do is exchange off the pieces, then at least have a rook and a minor piece to attack the weakened pawns. Now, the computer really wasn't happy with my g5 move. It does weaken my king position, but I'm going to be exchanging off these queens very soon, hopefully. Yeah. 
that Apon is advancing during the game. I thought that, that was just a waste of time. That I should be able to put some degree of attack together, forcing him to exchange off the pieces and hopefully take advantage of a weakened pawn structure. Now, he wants to exchange off queens, but he don't want to exchange them off and improve his pawn structure. Um, he would go from having five weak pawns to only having really two weak pawns. So I'm trying to avoid the exchange right now. And the computer suggests they should have went to queen to c7 which will stop the advancement of the a pawn and we've also given my knight additional support at f4 I really wasn't concerned about the a pawn at all I was at this point here that I had become short on time And I had to use men's room. <laughs> After the game, my opponent admitted that once I got up from the table, he quickly made his move, hoping that I would be in even greater time trouble, which I was. So that queen to c7 was really a rushed move. But I felt fine about it. Now I do realize that he's trying to generate some counterplay by moving this queen to b7 and getting a pawn to the seventh rank but that really shouldn't mean anything that pawn will ultimately be weakened and I'll just attack it with my rooks so he may get the my pawn but then I would get his pawn and he'd be left with additional weak pawns but what I did was I made sure I exchanged off queens which was probably a little too rushed I took the queens right away because if he's allowed to take my queen, those two rooks will be on the same diagonal. He still has a white bishop because I was on short on time and didn't have time to calculate it all out. I just had to make sure that the weaknesses weren't there for him to take advantage of. Now, like I said before, he went from five weak pawns to only two weak pawns, but I thought that that still should be enough to win the game. In a strictly end game. They did not consider him taking off with the C pawn, but it does improve his end game somewhat. I still thought I could win it. At this point, there was not a definite surefire win for me. So I offered to draw because if he gets his bishop to c6, I'm going to have problems with the pawn on the 6th rank and the bishop on the 6th rank. I think they're solvable, but I just didn't want to think through it. In addition to that, I also was in time trouble. So... I offered to draw. He rejected it because I was in time trouble. He thought he could win it by the time pressure. He was right. Right here, it's actually a draw. I should have been able to draw this position. All I have to do is move, find somewhere for my rook, just moving back and forth. As long as he can't go to c6 or c8 i should be able to draw it but what i did because this was move 38 i had only seconds left on my clock i made that losing move that allows him to go to c6 and i knew that but i was rushing and when you're rushing you're thinking well all i gotta do is make some safe quiet move and that was not the safe quiet move i should have made That forces my king away from c7. And 
Now his uh, rook pawn becomes a pass pawn on the A file. There's no way to stop that pawn without losing my knight. The only hope I have right here is that he would play king to c3. I could check with the knight and take off the pawn. That would also appear to lead to a draw. But of course, he's not forced to do that. He queens. I take his queen. He takes my knight. I push. He covers. I push again. Queen. He takes my queen off. He has a bishop and an extra pawn. There's no way I can stop that pawn. The king is just going to come back. And that was game one, North American Open.